If you have a lot of items that you need to plug into a certain outlet, you need an outlet extender. Let's say it's Christmas time and you have a lot of decorations you want to plug in at a certain area. A lot of these outlet extenders are just going to be in one long row. And some of the outlet plugs are a little bit too wide to get them in a row. So there's a couple nice things about this one. The outlets are on the side at an angle. It is surge protected. And if you happen to need your phone charged, it does have USB charger ports and USB-C charger port. I'm gonna show you how to install it. I'll show you what I currently have and show you how, why this is one of the nicer ones to get with these angled outlet plugs. This is an example of a standard outlet extender that you'd buy at like Lowe's or Home Depot. It has six outlets, but as you can see, you can't use all of them because you have different plug styles preventing the use of some of the other plugs. We're going ahead and get this one pulled off and get the new one installed and show you the difference. Just a view with everything unplugged, you'll see how the outlets are all in a row. Now all of these usually have some type of screw holding them on. Any outlet extender that doesn't have a screw, do not use it. And the reason they screw in is because of the weight of everything you have plugged in. Could actually just pull this right out of the outlet. Outlet extenders with a screw is going to require a Phillips screwdriver. You're just simply going to turn it counterclockwise. Now to install these extenders, you're going to take the center screw out of your faceplate and the screw that comes with your outlet extender is going to screw into that. At the back of the outlet extender, we're going to go ahead and push that in place and then put the screw in. With the screw out, you may need to hold the face plate with one hand and push in the extender with the other. Now you'll notice that the protected light lit up. Now we just need to put that screw in. Somewhat snug and go about a quarter of a turn. If you tighten it too tight, you are going to crack your new housing. Once you have the screw tight, you can go ahead and start plugging in your accessories. Have all of the exact same things plugged in. Now this is a five outlet extender. The one I took off was a six. But like I said, I couldn't use the other one anyway. But I also have the option to charge my cell phone with USB or USB-C. So if you're looking for a nice outlet extender at a reasonable cost, easy to install, with the option of charging a cell phone, I'll put a link in the description below how you can buy this off Amazon show up in your doorstep in one to two days. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informational and thanks for watching.